Hi everyone, welcome to the weekly portfolio update. Last week our portfolio was standing at $11,377 and this week our portfolio stands at $16,635. But if you think that we are up by $5,000 this week, that's not true. We actually invested $5,000 more to our account. So that will mean that our total investment out of our own pocket will be $15,000 and $1,635 will be the amount that we were able to gain from the market. Now even if you exclude the $5,000 that we have invested this week, we will be up around $250 overall. So this week was a very good week for us. And this week, two of our options has expired. One option was energy transport that we have sold a 1150 covered stock with $40 premium. That one has expired in the money, so the energy transport stock was taken away from us. Another option that has expired this week was Southern Energy. We had a six strike call on that one. Southern Energy ended up below $6. We still have that 100 share and we are planning to do a covered call again next week. We have closed Verizon option that we had almost 4 months out. That trade was basically was an experiment that we wanted to run. Will someone take our Verizon shares from us before X dividend? But we actually didn't wait for that. The reason is we actually were able to close that trade at $10. And that would mean that overall we are able to get $75 from that trade because we sold that at $85 and we bought it back at $10. And to us it made a lot of sense because we were able to get $75. That means that we got more than 2% in like 3 weeks and we thought that is a really good return and it does make sense for us to exit even though that means that we were not able to run the experiment and that experiment was the reason why we put that trade in the first place. But we are actually happy because that means that at least now we know that even before going to the ex-dividend there might be some options that we can play around dividend. This week we have put one option on Walgreens Boots Alliance. Walgreens Boots Alliance had its earning this week and we wanted to play that earning and actually it didn't go that well so far. Even though we were right and Walgreens has beat the market expectation in both revenue and profit, but the news that they had to do a settlement of a whopping $5.7 billion of the opioid lawsuits that they are facing throughout the country. But our strike was at 36 and after the earning the stock has fallen below 36 but it has recovered and we do not know it will be the same next week or not because next Friday will be the expiry date of that trade so we have to wait 5 more trading days to see how it does. But we are actually not too worried. First of all because we actually want to hold that stock so if it does trigger and we end up with 100 Walgreens share we will take it and we will do covered call or call spread. This week few of our trade will expire. One trade that will expire this Friday will be Intel. We have a 26 cover stock on that one and also the Walgreens Boots Alliance. Next week we will try to do some trade on energy transport because that's one of our favorite stock to do options. We also will try to do one covered call on Southern Energy as I told before and we also might do some trade on Verizon again if Verizon does fall around 38 level again after its ex dividend. So that was the overall summary this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have consider subscribing. Every Sunday I either make a video like this one or take screenshot and write a short blog summarizing the trade that we have done that week and the trade we are planning to do next week and also where our portfolio stands when it comes about the dollar amount. Thanks for watching this video. Talk to you next week.